Hi and welcome back to my channel. Now, I wanted to do a review of this watch the other day, but the problem is it's not really holding a charge. I wound it and wound it and it's not really taking charge. So I've basically ordered a new capacitor for the watch and I thought today we'd go about fitting it. So what I'll do, I'll get the bracelet off and get it in and get the back off and then we can start having a look at how we do this. Okay, now we're going to, I've got the watch in a watch case holder. Now I'm going to take off the back. There we go. Okay. And there we go. That's the back. Okay, let's have a view of that. So there is the capacitor right there. Now I'm just wondering, do we have to take off the weight or not? I think we might have to, the rotor. Looks like we might have to take off the rotor and the inner wheel there. Because as you can see, if I point to it here, we have one screw there and one screw there. And it looks like that's holding the actual capacitor down. Okay. Let's take off the auto winder. Stop this from rotating. Bring it round. There we go. Now, when you're taking the screws out of here, make sure you have somewhere to put them. So I'm just going to place everything in there. No one to get into there. Okay. And there. So now I want to take these two screws off here. Gotta be very careful here not to slip with a screwdriver. And you need a very fine edge screwdriver. Okay. A bit finer tweezers. Just gotta lift this out with a screw in place. It's much easier when it's not a camera in the way. As you can see that screw just went there. So let's pick up that screw. Let me pick up one of these screws you can see how tiny it actually is. That screw, if I put um, the head of a screwdriver, they're tiny. So let's put that in the jar so it's safe and sound. Okay, that's in there. So now let's have a look at this capacitor. We have a protective coating over it there. So one protective coating. Now, how do we get this off here? Cast in. Let me just see. There, it just lifts out. Okay. And get this, and there we go. Now, if you notice, the tweezers I'm using are actually carbon, they're not conductive. So, let's try and place this in there. Now, 
let's see. We could place this on this stem. There we go. I think that's that. So now we need that um, the protective film which goes over the top. Now be all right, go to pick that up. Try and get this in the right way. I believe that's correct there. Let's have a close up check. Yep, that looks good. Move that across a tiny bit. Okay, so now we need to put that back on there. Okay, just need to get that spring off the uh, lip there. Try and hold it down. There we go. And that looks to be, oh, not quite in position. There it is. Okay, let's try and get these screws back in here now. It's not the easiest when you've got a camera in front of you, to be fair. Okay, that's not all the way down, but I don't want it all the way down at first. I want to make sure this goes in. Let me check that hole looks right. It's, so now we make sure this goes in position. So yeah, that lines up. As we press it down, it should go there. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I want to hold this down. There's a small bit of tension on this, so I don't want to have the part jump out. Okay, so both screws are in now, but I just need to tighten them up. Okay, and this one, the other one must. There we go. need to get that to sit down in its spine. Because it is um, a square shank. There it is, that's down. And now for the rotor. for the screw. Oops. Okay, let's put the back on, see how we do. Okay, so the back's on. Let's have a quick look 
see if it worked while it's ticking that's good and if we press the button now perfect so already before it was only going to just under five seconds so this already is indicating that it has a few months of uh, power supply and it hasn't even been charged up so it is a bit of a fiddly job but you can do it if you've got patience um, but it's not for the faint of heart it, to be fair but you do need space you need a clean works place where if you drop one of those screws or it flicks out you can get to it so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you at the next one all the best stay safe out there bye